yardage so you can get just enough spin. But like I said, maybe a little bit of a lower type shot. There's need some spin. There is a slope right about there. Will it come off of it? It's bringing it back a little bit. There you go. Well played. That's the beauty of this golf course. If you do get it in a place like that, you can use some of the slopes. Nice job. Third shot now at five for Mayhar. Very similar position. She saw her opponent's ball take that hard bounce. This one's a little bit higher trajectory. It must have a little bit more spin. Gets up over that first ridge. So good job there. Good shot. Keep it below the hole. Oh, good solid stroke. Confident stroke. Buster hits the balls on the range. It's a little bit of a fade. It was a pretty good control today in her promotions as well. She has two putts to win the hole. Her opponent's been back and forth over the green. Really good pace there. Should get the job done. Okay. Yeah. Castle three, Nahar four, Castle lead four up. It's funny, Jensen in her interview after the after the round yesterday said that she didn't even pack enough clothes for, for this trip. She had to do some laundry last night. She wasn't expecting to still be in the tournament come this point, but man, is she playing some great golf. Mayhar 172 left in the hole. She sees her opponent there safely on the green. She's got to get this up there and try to get a few back in this match. It's interesting. It looked like she was set up quite closed there on that approach. Her opponent already in with par. She needs this to avoid going five down. She's just been a little bit off today. We've seen it off with the driver, off with a couple irons. Routine two putt. Big, <laughs> big save right there. Just a little bit right to left here. All right. She got one back. It's in her position, that's what you need to see. You need to start chipping away. The 10th hole is a good time to start. And it's uphill the entire way. She definitely has the advantage being in this position with her opponent over the green and not a not a good look at par. Oh, yeah, that's a good putt. That look how hard she there. hit that. I thought at first it really got out. Got a pretty intense look going here. Ever feel like it's over. You know, it's hard to kind of get it out of your mind. You're not playing your best golf, but. And that just wasn't high enough. No, made the mistake hitting it. Second long. shot. Yeah, you can't hit it over this green. Can't hit it in over any of these greens. That's Castle for Birdie. Par conceded. By the hole will break a little bit to, from right to left. She played quite a bit of break and it never came back. A little bit by, but you heard the concession by Castle saying that one good, but Mayhar running out of holes. Five down, six to go. It kind of gets to you. You haven't been as solid as you've been earlier in the week. You have to think a little mental fatigue, physical fatigue. Absolutely. It's a lot of golf that's being played. It sure is. I don't think it's for par to win the match. Solid, really good playing today. And you know what? You get them with the match early, get a little bit of a rest. I think that's real important. She's had that focused look all day long. She's been solid. Came into the week, no expectations, and she has played some great golf. Six and five win over Mayhar. She'll advance. Okay. It's a pretty good two putt. It's back from the front of the green. Okay. Both players make Mike par to par five. five. Hole five. Hole remains two up. Hole is two up. As they head over to six. Hole location just over a bit of a false front here. Ideally, you'd like to be about ten feet past this hole. Shot. Shot. That works too. <laughs> right on it. Perfect distance control. And here, just put a good smooth swing on it. Good tempo. She talks a lot about not getting too far ahead of herself. Oh, and hit a 
sprinkler head. How unlucky was that on top of a poor swing? Heisterkamp, her second after the poor shot that ended up even worse. Pulled it left, Morgan hit the sprinkler head. Fairway bunkers, or you lay it back where she did and have a little bit of a flatter lie and a fuller shot in. So those are the tricky shots. It's the ups and downs, kind of the greens are the defense here, but I think a lot of it is where you hit the ball in the fairway to give yourself a chance for birdie. Didn't look really comfortable with that standing over the ball. You saw her back away a little bit, take a few extra waggles. Fade, hitting a draw, put too much pressure on her left hip. So she's even had to change her ball flight a little bit. Which I don't think a fade hurts you around this golf course, I do have to say. But both players really misjudging the speed there. A couple holes in a row, Morgan. We're seeing her get fired up a little bit. Oh, for birdie to win the hole. Little slow putt up the hill. Did she? Oh, mm. there she came backwards. Just so slow going up some of these slopes. Here's another one. Heister camp now for par to tie the hole. Stay just two down. Ah, blew it through the break. Camp, Big five, mistake on the second oh, shot in the bunker. Oh, so she'll lose out. that hole. Go three down. She heads over to 12. So that par going to be conceded. And they're competent in themselves and their abilities, but they stand over these putts and, and you can definitely show some nerves. Very solid stroke there. Over at 14, Vivian Ho already in with par. Birdie putt for Heisterkamp to win the hole. I think one of the neat things is that a couple of her High school teammates flew in this morning just to watch her play today. Got, you know, when, when players get into that zone, into that focus zone, sometimes it does become a blur. She was executing incredibly well. Looks like Vivian's in that zone. Yeah, she is. Look at that wow. shot. Better be in the zone hitting it like that. Three up now. It's going to head to the 15th here. Especially at the amateur level. And she's only 15 years old. Mm. She's got... She's got a world of golf ahead of her. I think what she's got to be aware of expectations that she puts on herself, that she doesn't leave here with too many expectations that she strangles herself. And the match is, see, it's over. Three, and who will win this one? Four and three. So she played some pretty solid golf. Needs a spin. Got the spin. Beautiful shot right there. All right, good wet shot, good solid birdie. Let's that lead to one down now as they head over to the par three, sixth hole. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Get it! Nice shot. Whoa! Amelia designed it properly. Great chance to get it even closer. Downhill, breaking a little bit right to left. She knows yeah. she's going to make it. And she does. Right. Bodie settling in nicely. Now oh, it looked like she stood up right on it. She's surprised it missed, though. Wow. Remember that short one she, she missed at the 12th yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, for sure. Even Similar she, length. Yeah. Heck needs to make this one. Conceded to Heck. Yep. 
Bunnabury's won three of the last four holes to take that one up lead as the 19 year olds continue to battle it out. It does. I think this is a great break for her, though. She can capitalize. Just needs to stay. Okay. That's, that's almost one where you, when you see your, where your opponent is, you <laughs> shift your aim a little bit further left. Yeah, you gotta get it over there just a little bit more. You're right. She has five and a half feet, needs to make this one. Otherwise, Heck has only two putts to win the hole. Mm -hmm. That's good, I believe. All right, so Rachel Heck takes the advantage there, tied through nine. She has 58 yards, needs to bump this over the hill to get it close. Kind of like that. She has 20 feet for birdie and needs to get a good run because Heck is close to the hole. Yeah, Amelia, this is where we, we see an example of hitting first in match play can be quite an advantage. Rachel hitting it in there close and putting the pressure back on Bonabodi. We just saw Castle do the same thing a moment ago and... Yeah, she likes to hit the high shots. I know that. Oh, wow. Better than wow. Could drop that out of your pocket, Morgan, any better than that. that. Was, that's why the lob wedge is her favorite club. I can see. I love you, she says. What an up and down right there for Parr. This putt just straight up the hill. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know who she was looking at, but it went in. Very, very long putt here, 65, 70 feet. There are two tiers that she needs to putt up to. Wow, she really whacked that one. Judged that perfectly. Gravity, the grass, a lot of different things. Solid. Great answer there. She has a 12 footer for birdie. It's downhill. We'll break a little left to right. Well, I tricked everybody. She just overread that a touch, but that will be conceded. And the hole gets bigger, so hopefully that's what she's thinking about. I think it's especially important after the short miss mm. earlier in the day. Wow. What a great, great answer. Again, two holes in a row. See how fast she got to the hole? <laughs> oh, look at that butt. Ooh, kind of jumped out of there. I think she gets away with it. It's one of the hard things when you're trying to hit a putt that hard from that distance out of the fringe. It can hop on you. At the level they do. Good putt here. Mitchell Heck now has a putt to win the hole. Cool. Oh, solid. In the opposite position. Two up, heading to 16. That's why she's the second ranked amateur in the world. What a beautiful shot there. Yeah, Bonabodi needs to be bold right here. The wind's pushing this little right. Yeah, big advantage for Heck. This is an opportunity to redeem herself after not hitting the best bunker shot in the last hole. Sure, it'll be enough there. Needs to make this to stay alive. Oh, how about that three? You know, she said she called herself a really feisty player who never gives up. There's, there's no give up there. Heck now at 16 to advance. How about Rachel Heck, second ranked amateur in the world. Stepping on the gas on this back nine. A winner here in the quarters, three and two, and gets a tee time tomorrow.
the semis at Westchester. Yeah. As Brooks says third here at the seventh, coming down the slope. It's kind of fluffed that Jerry, but he yeah, got away just, with it. Yeah, a little bit. It was really delicate coming down that slope, but uh, that putt will be to win the hole. Our opponent has 15, 18 feet for bogey. Yeah. Hey, figuring that one out. Yeah, he loved the iron player, but driver in the way of the Rossi now for that bogey. I think that's pretty much done. Yep, seated. Let's say first to putt for par, just that nervy length, Jim. You're supposed to make this, you know it, but it is a missable length. Mm. Oh, no problem there. That's a good stroke. Beat it to the hole there. Good putt. Rossi to tie here at the ninth. Not much in this one. Still going to make a putt. It. That's got a little tighter. Both players make par at the ninth. Head over to the tenth. Huge drag here, just 57 yards of the hole. Her opponent, Brookse, is just on the front edge of the green from that right rough. So, open door right here to get something close. Get that one up lead again. Low skipper, one or two hops in check. Nice. Yeah, we got a birdie, Jerry. All right. <laughs> Say now for birdie to win the hole. Tough to get that there. Yes, yeah, it's so slow going up that hill, but. And it's been conceded. She wow. happens to win this match. You go back to that <laughs> bar right there. And we go to the 12th, third for Say. Had a chance to get there in two, but it was would have been a stretch. Laid it up nicely. 123 up the hill. Backstop behind it. That's a good shot, especially considering you can't see a thing from down there. A little bit of a side hill lie, slightly uphill lie as well from 108. Plays nine yards uphill, and it's into the breeze. That was off the toe of the club, high on the toe. I'm gonna get away with it. Yeah. U.S. Women's Amateurs as she's played. This is the farthest she's gotten. But a lot of experience. Shows right, right there. there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Rossi, on the other hand, she's got a few little nervous ticks going, but that's understandable. So many players do. Can she go to that well one more time? Sure, she oh. can. My. Might have the first Rossi ever bottomless Rossi well. Rossi remains one up. She's done it sometimes, not every time. Wasting no time, but that's not getting there. No, I love the pace of play. I think that's a great thing about we see so many young players and did she do it again up? She just kind of popped that, got it out there to the right. So disappointing putt there. Tied going to 14. She stepped out of that quickly. So you'll have a couple putts here to win the hole. Get 15 Brooks say to win the hole here. Yeah, just pretty straightforward after seeing the exact line from her opponent. And why not make it? Yeah, why not? There you go. All right. Puts the win that one. She'd win that. Win from the left, hole cut. The back left so hard to get this one anywhere near it. Pretty darn good. Yeah. Just does not go for a natural ball flight. You have to hit a little fade and hold it up into the wind. Almost everything turns right like this one is. A right, couple of birdie putts upcoming at 16. Nails, wow. walking it in. Could hit the pitch and run, but rarely see it. Oh, caught that steeply, Jim. Yeah, it was a little tighter fairway cut, kind of a little different cut than maybe from the fairway, a little tighter right there. Slide up the lie. Oh, she caught that nicely. Oh, very nice shot there. Beautiful, well played. Go to the well one more time. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, How good is that, Jerry? Oh, and you've seen some of the best. Speechless. That I means just 
Mm -hmm. Got it lined up in the middle of the hole. So it's got to be firm with that, with that line. And she does. All right. Two great saves. Take a deep breath. Head to 18. Uphill into a strong wind. Remember what she did with her third at 18 yesterday. She needs to wipe that from her mind right now. She did. Stay. Easy. It's going to come all the way back off that false front. That was such a good shot, too. It needed not another yard or two. Wind is really kicking up right now, too, Morgan. It's got to be, I mean, it would be a good club and a half wind if you were playing a full shot into it. Try and take something off of a wedge just a little bit. She tried to. I tugged it. Yeah, that's what, just an over-the-top trap with probably a little too much club. But it's tough to judge. Fun for us. <laughs> We've got one Stanford Cardinal moving on to Saturday. Flying a little deeper than I think she wanted. Not bad. Yeah, that gets to that spot, Jerry, though. That's really, really quick from up there. She nipped that one just perfectly. What a great shot. Say in there quickly, this for Birdie. Say for par. Doing it in style. Birdie on the first extra hole. And Valentina continuing to love this week here at Westchester Country Club.